Hey and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you what is in my hospital bag. My friend recommended a flannel because it's summer anyway and she had her baby in um, winter and she said you get quite sweaty so it's quite nice to keep you cool. And this is one that we actually got at one of the baby shows. It comes with one of the, um, we've got like this snuggle dry so it's made out of bamboo fibre so it's nice and soft and natural so they were like an extra pound so I got a couple for me. So I've got that. I've got some cotton wool pads because I've heard you're only allowed to use um, in the hospital. They recommend that you use kind of water and cotton pads. And also I've got a face kind of um, micellar water, cleansing water. So if I do feel kind of hot and sticky, I can just give myself my face a quick wipe down. So that's always good. Then I've got some expert midwife products. So these are the spiritual bits <laughs> spray, which is supposed to kind of cool down and help soothe um, your lower bits after having baby. Um, I've also got the nipple balm and the prep your bits. Um, and I haven't used that because I just didn't want to think about it, which is a bit stupid. It's a bit too late now, so what's gonna happen is gonna happen. Headphones for so many reasons. So when I was being monitored the other day, I um, it was out of hours. So I heard someone in labor and I think, I just thought that could really work you up. Um, so I thought headphones, they are kind of block out sound ones um, to kind of keep my, keep me from hearing things I don't wanna hear. But also um, I love music. So, you know, I can put on a song and start choreographing a whole routine in my head or I can put on some relaxing music and like chill. I can just kind of decide what I wanna do. Then I've got some pyjama bottoms, these are not really nice and baggy. I was, again, friends have told me pyjama bottoms are best and darker colours because, well, there's leakage afterwards, we'll put it that way. So nice and comfortable, they don't dig in. I didn't really want to take a dressing gown, um, so I've got two pairs of dark uh, pyjama bottoms in case, for whatever reason I'm kept in, and I have been booked in for an induction. I'm hoping he comes before the induction, but just in case. And then this big baggy um, pyjama top. It's boiling though, so I really doubt I will need that, but I thought it's better to be safe than sorry. I've got a couple of maternity nursing bras. This one's just from H&M, and this one is from Debenhams. So they are proper nursing ones that clip down. So again, you just don't know how long you're in there for, and if you know I have any boob leakage, I'm gonna wanna change them as well and on that i've got a pack of disposable briefs actually i thought that's breast pads i've got the breast pads here i've just again i'm guessing i've just got disposable ones so i've put in five breast pads and then disposable briefs um again these are recommended to me and i thought if there is going to be mess and i'm going to have a new baby i don't want to be bothering with really I guess, I don't know, messed up underwear. I just thought I'd rather get disposable briefs and just like, it's one less thing to think about. So I've got those and some maternity pads as well. And that's a pack of 10. I know on a few websites it says take about 12, but we really don't live that far away and you can pick them up anywhere. So I can send Tom to get more if we need some. I've got some baby wipes. I know that you can't use them on baby in the hospital, but again if it's just you know for me i just thought just whack them in there i've got loads anyway but i also have got a mini one of some um makeup wipes anyway again just to freshen up i've got one of my hair buffs because i'm hoping to have a water birth so it'll just keep my hair out of the way and also keep my hair off my face if i'm getting hot and bothered i hate having hair on my face when i'm getting sweaty so that's not what i want I've also got nice body lotion and some rituals um, shower shower gel, just like something nicer that I've um, I got in like Christmas kits and stuff. I read that lip balm is, you know, almost a must because you're doing a lot of pushing, you're in there, it's hot, it's bothering. And so I've got lip balm. And that is a body lotion. So they're just things for me. I've got some nappies. This is just one of those packs that you get in you know all the baby packs that you get given i've got a few muslin cloths for baby i also have a really thin summer swaddle for him i've got loads of outfits two lots of scratch mitts you just never know how long you're in there for do you and then 
one little outfit so freaking cute so i've got two sort of sleep suits a hat a baby grow that goes with some trousers another spare sort of vest long sleeved vest and then the little shorty all-in-one and then we've got his going home outfit i've got a couple of bibs a couple of pairs of baby socks as well and then obviously got pairs of underwear for me some vest tops my lucky socks that i wore and my ivf the day that he was putting me I also brought the kind of um, Robertson squash because I just thought if I'm drinking a lot of water I might get a bit bored just to have some with me but we've also frozen bottles of flavoured water because the hospital is so warm and you know it's a lot of physical work I'll be doing. This was the elephant that we got him before he was putting me so I was holding this at embryo transfer so that is for him as well. My friend got me this um, hot weather cooler, so just spray to spray my face um, as I'm pushing. And then a box of flapjacks just to keep energy levels up. That's it, we're sort of ready to go. I really thought he'd be here by now, but he's not. So I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!